Welcome back to another delicious episode of Messing with Matt, and happy National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Whether you like your chocolate chip cookies warm and gooey with ice cream sandwiched in the middle, or crunchy, ready for a glass of milk, this recipe is just for you. So get ready to roll up your sleeves, because it's about to get messy. Starting your chocolate chip cookie recipe, it's vital to allow your butter to come to room temperature and soften. You're going to put one stick or a half a cup of butter into your mixing bowl. Add in your sugars. Most recipes call for a one-to-one -one ratio of white sugar to brown sugar, but I like to make sure that I have a soft cookie, so we're going to use a quarter cup of white sugar, and then we'll add in a half cup of dark brown sugar. I'm using dark brown sugar because it has more molasses than light brown sugar, and therefore it'll create a softer cookie in the end. Cream your butter and sugars together and give them enough time so that way you get rid of most of the sugar granules. You want to make sure that you allow the time to cream because otherwise it will become very grainy if you allow too much sugar to remain. And also it's important to scrape down the sides of the bowl while you're mixing it so that way everything is incorporated well. Add in one teaspoon of vanilla and one egg and allow it to mix until well combined. In a separate bowl, sift one and a quarter cups of flour. And then remeasure it to our one cup and two tablespoons of flour into your mixing bowl. Add in a half teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix until the dry ingredients are just incorporated. Fold in 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips into your dough. To prevent your cookies from spreading out too much and becoming brittle, it is recommended to refrigerate your dough before baking. I like to pre-scoop my dough onto a tray, then refrigerate it. This way, it will only need about 30 minutes in the fridge before baking. Scoop, shape, and place on a tray, then repeat. Chocolate chip cookies were first created by Ruth Wakefield while she was working for Tool House in the late 1930s with a degree in household arts. She first published the recipe in her 1938 book called Tried and True. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees and take your dough out of the refrigerator. Space your dough evenly on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake your cookies for 9 to 12 minutes, only until they start to turn golden brown around the edges. Be sure not to overbake, as they will continue to bake once removed from the oven. And if you want a crunchier cookie, bake for an additional 4 to 6 minutes. Once you remove the cookies from the oven, allow them first to cool for five minutes on the cookie sheet, then move them to the cooling rack. Originally, Ruth Wakefield created chocolate chip cookies to be accompanied with ice cream. If you need an easy ice cream recipe, be sure to check out my cookies and cream recipe on YouTube. And there you have your homemade delicious classic chocolate chip cookies. If you like this recipe, keep up with my social media accounts for all of my latest delicious dishes. Happy National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day, everyone, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Messing with Matt.